I would like to express my sincere thanks for the permission you have granted to me to speak on the President address. Sir, I don't want to take much time. I would like to concentrate only on the farming sector. Para number 26 to 29. They dealt with the farmers, how they are going to give uh, the support to the farming sector in the budget they have mentioned. But in the President address also, some of the points which is going to be debated in the budget, that is also again mentioned in the President address itself. So, I only confine myself to some of the points raised on the President address. Sir, now today, Indian economy is being an agrarian economy and predominantly an agriculture an agricultural country engages more than fifty percent of the workforce and contributes seventeen percent of country's GDP in India. 82% of the farmers are small and marginal farmers with an average land holding of 1.08 hectares. If an all, if at all the country has to prove progress economically, it can happen only through agricultural sector by giving priority and support by government. Despite all odds like climate change, changes, floods and drought and declining water level, our farmers have produced 30 305 million tons of food grain and 320 million tons of fruits and vegetables. The annual growth rate is 2.85 percent. We are not only self-sufficient in food production during 2021. Country has exported about 2.05486 crores with agriculture and processed food products. Either to we were talking about food security. Now we are we have started dis talking about the nutrition security. The food security, which is already bought by UPA government, that is not any new thing that has been done by this government. Now, about the nutri nutritional security, it is one of the most important things that we are discussing. Sir, I only try to point out some of the issues that have been mentioned here. I don't want to take side this way or that way to criticize the budget or the president of this. Sir, the budget allocation for agricultural and allied sectors has disappointed all those who are expecting increased budget outlay. The budget allocation out of the total budget during 2022 to 23 declined by 3.8% against 3.9% during 21 22. 
big appeal was made by all farmers and stakeholders the the gst should be removed from all the farm inputs including farm implementations and farm machinery as well as the value added processed farm products but it is unheard in the present budget sir the instead of increasing the subsidies of food and petroleum products subsidies has been decreased with or which will impact on the cost of cultivation and decrease the profit margin to the farmers the budget allocated of msp is reduced instead of increasing the cover large number of crops and the increase in the quantity of procurement of farm products under msp this will adversely Im- impact on the food production as well as the income of the farmers promotion zero budget natural farming and organic farming to bring the chemical free agriculture is a serious issue need to be thoroughly debated in new of the growing demand for food production to meet the ever growing population of the country although it is envisaged to double the income of farmers by 2022 there is no mention on the backup program to attain the target committed by the government sir use of drone for chemical spray is totally inappropriate inappropriate to indian context since more than 88% of the farmers are small and marginal farmers this will have adverse impact on biodiversity particularly on flora homa birds animals and even human beings the impact of the aerial survey is not advisable and at the most it would be used for generating data on crop survey in turn to plan for profitable marketing of farm producers going to the chemical spray the spray through drone it is contradiction to jvnf and organic farming that the government is contemplating during the current budget it may be suitable for the countries like canada america australia where the per capita land holding prevails around 500 acres per family and not for in sir the prime attraction of the budget is declaration of the international year for may 2023 which are not only nutritive requires less water free from pest and diseases low cost production nutritionally rich in both human beings and animals sir so far as the rural development is concerned lot of our friends have gone spoken about the rural development the manrega what the amount that have been reduced by the, in the present budget it is not going to solve the problem of the rural the people who are only depend upon manrega and that is one of the most important scheme that has been the upa government and the government of india should think over 
or see that the location must be improved, increased. Otherwise, things will go into the sort of sober disease. Our job concern, the unemployment is one of the most important factors which we are unable to solve the problem. I don't want to comment on that. What the, the so-called the, one of the worst the viral disease the country has suffered from last three years. That is one of the major issues which the government has at least taken sufficient care to see that the viral disease is, is not going to adversely affect Indian population compared to other countries. That is where some achievable, remarkable achievement is there. Sir, with these words, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to the Chair for having permitted me to speak on this Thank farmer's you. issue. Because I myself is a farmer, I don't want to miss this opportunity where the President has made certain uh, the issues on the farmers. With these words, I will express my thanks to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mani V. Vijay Sai Reddy. Mani V. Vijay Sai Reddy, not present. Mani Sanjay Singh, please. Dhanivad Manivar, you have given me the opportunity to say something about the Mahamahim Rastrapati. 